bicycle watches are just cool. Whether you're in special ops or you're just a dad going on vacation with your kids, it's great to know that you have a watch on your wrist that is ready for anything. Today we have one of those watches. It is an MTM. It's a tactical GMT with two rotating bezels, one inner, one outer, and it's a very chunky, robust watch ready for anything, the dad going on vacation or if you're going into battle. So let's flip the camera and take a look at an MTM Hypertech. So tactical watches are just cool. It says right here, combat tactical precision. Just those three words make a, a pretty cool watch. If you can make a watch that is ready for combat, that is tactical and precise, I mean, what, what more would you want from a watch? Now, obviously, it's not going to be a dress watch, but it's going to be something that's chunky, something that can take a beating, and here we go. This is MTM. This is a brand that I have featured on my channel in the past. This is called the Hypertech, the H61. It's a GMT, it's a three time zone GMT, so you do have a GMT hand, and then of course you have a rotating bezel, it's a unidirectional rotating bezel, and the whole watch is in stainless steel, but the packaging is phenomenal. Now this is a true waterproof box, so this box is actually waterproof. They give you another box inside of the box, inside of here, you get an extra spring, uh, I was gonna use the word spring bar, but it's really not a spring bar, it's a spring rod, or uh, not even that, it's a uh, it's a rod that is used in lieu of a spring bar, excuse me. And then they give you tools to remove them because you have to actually use Allen keys to remove the, uh, the bars in the lugs for this. And it also comes with an extra strap. This is a very heavy strap, rubber strap that this comes with. Big, big buckle on here. And then under here, they actually added another strap. I don't know if this is how it normally comes with three straps. I believe it is not. These straps are like $75 each, but you can see that you get a lot of hardware with this. This is a really nice NATO strap, a nylon NATO strap. Beautiful packaging. Uh, really well done. Now this is a quartz movement. So this is a Ronda movement. I believe it's a Ronda 505. It is a GMT movement. And then of course you're getting that bezel. So the bezel is actually a rotating bezel and you get a third time zone. And you're also getting a inner rotating bezel on here. So this is a hundred meter water resistant watch. So you do get a screwed in case back and screwed in crown. However, there is a second crown and that second crown actually controls the inner bi-directional rotating bezel. You also have the outer bezel, which gets a 60 minute counter on it as well, and that is unidirectional, which sounds really good, feels very, very nice. Really good action on here. It's a little bit hard to read, obviously, because it is just black on black, so it's just etched into the bezel. It's a steel solid piece of metal bezel, so it's stainless steel bezel with a PVD coating. Obviously, the entire watch and bracelet has a PVD coating. All of the buckles have PVD coating on the straps that it came, and it has an off-white dial with black indices. Now, I believe this does not get any tritium tubes, so not that I could see. Uh, however, we'll do a loom shot towards the end of the video, but I believe there is loom on the hour and minutes hands. I believe there is loom on the seconds hand, and that is it. The GMT hand here is very, very sly. In fact, you probably would not know this was a GMT, uh, only if you look really closely. So right there is a very small red GMT hand. And really that's the only way that you know this is a GMT by looking pretty closely at it. Um, the GMT here, when you unscrew the crown, because you do have a screwed in crown as I mentioned, works pretty much the same way that an ETA movement would work, an ETA GMT, so you unscrew the crown. You put it into the first position and then you could move the actual GMT hand. So it, Moves pretty smoothly, actually. It's just all um, in one direction. Obviously, it's not in two directions. You do have a date there at the uh, three o'clock, so when you move it in the other direction, it changes the date, so that changes the date right there. That's really it. Screwed in crown, as I mentioned. Screwed in case back, 100 meters of water resistance. I don't think there is any other loom, though, like I said, anywhere else on the dial. I don't think that's black loom either. We'll do uh, a loom shed at the end. Everything does line up, so obviously the uh, uh, 12 o'clock on the dial, on the chapter ring, which is a rotating chapter ring, and then on the bezel itself. Everything lines up. 
And the bracelet, the bracelet you do get uh, straight end links. Obviously you have these hex screws here to actually hold the bracelet to the case. And these are real screws. So you need to use two Allen keys to actually undo this. And there's a bar in between. There is no spring in that bar. It's just a bar that screws in. You have big screwed links in the bracelet. Uh, this is all PVD coated and you have sort of ridges on the outer links. And then the center links just have sort of chamfered edges. Uh, it's a little bit glossy, but it's not like a gloss. It's almost like a satin finish, I guess you would call it. Mm, a little bit brighter than that. And then you have sort of a run of the mill buckle. It is signed, but uh, you know, milled and a little bit of pressed element to it. You have three positions of micro adjust. So I would like to see a little bit more micro adjust, but there you go. Uh, really big, chunky bracelet. It tapers a little bit, but even with that taper, it's still very, very big and very chunky. Obviously you could put a rubber strap on here and obviously you could also put a NATO strap on here. So this is like a khaki cream colored dial. Um, and against that black, it looks really good. You have the little sword logo or the dagger logo right there at the six o'clock position. It says MTM up at the 12 o'clock, 100 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal with AR coating. The sapphire crystal is flat. Let's do quick measurements. So this measures at I think 42 millimeters, but that is really at the bezel. So it's 41.3. If you're measuring at the case, you're gonna get a little over 42 millimeters, like 43 millimeters. That's because you get these crown guards. You get a really weird sort of structure of crown guard on this side of the case. So it's like a little ridge over here, a little ridge over here. It goes across both of the crowns. I'll do a close up so you can see what I'm talking about, but it's really interesting. It does make it wear a little bit bigger. Thickness on here, again, uh, not a thin watch considering it is a quartz movement, but 12.4 millimeters, definitely going to give you good presence on the wrist. And then the lug to lug, which isn't bad considering the size of the watch, 50 millimeters, not too bad. Then you have two crowns. So 6.8 on one, and then a little bit smaller on the, uh, the bezel crown, 5.7 millimeters. Now, usually MTM, they give you tritium tubes. This does not get tritium tubes. Um, so that is unfortunate. I wish it had a combination of both. I don't know if they make the Hypertech with any tritium tubes. That would be really good. Uh, but unfortunately, this one does not have it. Um, anyway, this is also a limited edition. I wanted to mention that that was one thing that uh, I was kind of surprised by. This is a limited edition. I'm not sure how limited it is because they have so many different iterations of this watch. You can get this in like, I think a dozen different colors combinations, PVD coatings, uh, different colors of PVD coating. So uh, there is a limited number of them. I don't know what that limited edition is, but they are numbered. So that's something to keep in mind. But you can see the AR coating works really well on here uh, in this uh, studio lighting. And usually it doesn't, but there you go. Very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist and then we'll do a loom shot. Today, I have a pretty incredible watch on, another PVD coated watch. Although we'll talk about that uh, at a later date. I'm going to be doing a video about this very, very soon. This is a watch that I just recently purchased from Whatnot. And this is a Hoyer 510-501 in that PVD coating. And it is a phenomenal watch that I am really excited about uh, getting. This is a real, like, an original tactical watch. This, this is from, like, 1985, 1986, I think they were made. And... Um, a lot of fighter pilots actually use them because of the Lemania movement inside. Very reliable, very robust movement. But here you go. This looks really good on my seven and a half inch wrist. It looks a little bit big, but it is a tactical watch and really almost ready to go anywhere and do anything type of watch that you could really, um, you know, go into combat with. This is this is a serious watch. And you could time a lot of different things on here. So you do have the GMT hand, but then you have two rotating bezels as well. Really good design, I really like this. Anyway, uh, very quickly, a loom shot. We'll also talk about price during the loom shot. Well, there you go. Loom, not incredible. I wish there were tritium tubes on this watch. That is probably the most disappointing thing about this watch, I think, is that it does not have tritium tubes because MTM are known for that. They use tritium tubes in a lot of their watches. It would have been really good to have tritium tubes here. Unfortunately, they didn't go that route. This is a $625 watch on the bracelet, 
with the PVD coating. Now this goes down as low as 300 and change, which I think is a really good price for this watch. Um, you know, this is sort of their top of the line version. So you get this really beautiful cream colored dial. You get the PVD coating on the case, on the bracelet. I believe it comes with the strap at 625. One extra strap, probably not the second. They charge a lot of money for their straps, $75, but obviously you're getting those big buckles on them that are chunky and they're held in place with that same system, the two Allen key system that you need to use to actually remove them. So uh, very robust watches that are very well made, Swiss movements, uh, and you know, they say USA on the dial. I don't think they're assembled in the US or anything like that, but it's a Swiss made watch basically, which is pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of MTM? Uh, the idea of a tactical watch, I know a lot of people are into that. It's sort of like a metal G-Shock when you really think about it. It's a watch that really could take a beating um, and you know, go anywhere and do anything. That sort of thing that I always bring up on my channel. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon and Joma Shop. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, of course, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.